Yeah, hello. Okay, well, this bike's all back together. If you guys have watched any of the other videos on uh, pulling the carburetor apart, I've done the airbox mod, which means cutting out the airbox. Um, from factory, they made these bikes um, thin, like California emission specs. So they're really dialed back, really toned down. Um, basically, all the YouTube videos and stuff I've watched, it's uncorking their true potential. They're a Honda CRF 250X. This one's a 2006 model. Um, so yeah, we did a few modifications. And uh, when I started out doing this project, the bike, it ran, it was okay. Um, you know, when I hopped on it, I didn't buy it new. I bought it used. I think I'm like the third owner. Um, honestly, I started it up yesterday. We've got a ton of snow outside, so I can't really take it for a ride. But just initial startup sure seemed to be, uh, what a difference, right out of the box. Um, like I said, I did the uh, airbox mod, which means... Um, from JD Jetting, they recommend to just cut a four inch opening out of it. I've done a bit of research, pull the, pull the air box right out and, uh, make the opening a little bit bigger. There's, I didn't go quite as big Honda actually in their, uh, casting. They actually have a line on the air box itself that, they say to cut out around that line. I didn't go quite that far, um, just because we do uh, ride in, you know, mud and water and river crossings and stuff like that. And I thought there might have been a little bit of potential for some water to get up in there if you cut it all the way out. Now, if we were down in California or something like that, uh, or Nevada, uh, you're mostly dealing with dust and sand and dirt and stuff like that. Um, we're on the west coast of Vancouver Island. I'm in Couch and Lake, British Columbia. Um, so yeah, we cut out the airbox. I put this whole thing back together. Um, I bought a kit from JD Jetting, uh, jdjetting.com. Um, great kits. Here it is right here. JD Jetting. It's for... Honda CRF 250X. I believe this one was from 2004. Uh, I can't remember what year it was to. Maybe 04 to 09 or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, but yeah, so comes in a sweet little kit like this. Actually, I'm going to pull this door up and then you can see a little better. I need to have a camera person here. Okay, so it comes in a kit like this. Full instructions. Okay, <clears throat> full instructions, top to bottom. I went pretty well exactly to what the instructions tell me to do. Now you can go anywhere if you're riding in higher altitudes. Um, you can do the jetting and the needle and everything according to your altitudes this kit comes with your pilot jet that's the stock pilot jet that was in there it's a 40 um, we changed that pilot jet out to a 42 um, different things I was learning on YouTube uh, guys were saying 160 to a 165 jet in um, but from what I understand um, it's mostly for higher altitudes, and we're we're pretty much sea level. I've set this bike for sea level to 4,000 feet. Um, so I went with the 158 jet, main jet, and the 42 pilot. Okay. That's exactly what the directions from JD Jetting told me to do. Here, well, I might as well set this up here. Perfect. JD Jetting. I tore the box trying to get it open. I was so excited to get it. Um, it took a little while to get it here. It comes out of Lacey, Washington. I mean, it's just, it got held up and uh, at the border with duty and customs and all that crap. So, uh, whatever. So, and then here's your needles. Or a, a needle. This one's, uh, I believe this is the one that's blue on the top. 
yeah it is so this is one for real high altitude or cold uh, real cold even though we got a ton of snow here it doesn't normally snow so recap I took the uh, 40 stock 40 pilot replaced it with a 42 pilot um, I'm not even sure what the main jet was that was in it but I ended up breaking that one anyway I don't even know where the pieces are I was so lucky to get that out that's in another one of my videos without damaging anything but I did so um, yeah so the red needle that comes in the kit the retainer clip on the fifth position from the top okay so that's a 40 40 stock pilot change it out to a 42 and like I said I can't remember what the jet was where is it do I have it here yeah I do what is it I can't see oh it's a 130 I don't know if you guys can see that it's a 130 how restricted was this bike at one time okay so we went from a 130 to a 158 main jet okay and then they're a little bit of a trick to get back together uh oh, any other tips i can think of uh the uh cold start plunger it's tough to get but i able to uh get it back in once i had the carburetor up into the frame of the bike a uh, little bit of work the throttle cables there's two throttle cables on this thing um so when i took them apart so that I didn't mix them up. They've got a pull and a push. Basically, uh, the push is a return. It, it helps the throttle spring come back. Um, I don't know why it has two cables, but it uh, must be something to do with the slide. It's a flat slide in the carburetor instead of a cylindrical slide like uh, uh, older bikes are. This, I believe this little 230 over here, it has a... Yeah, it's got a cylindrical type slide, and this is a, a flat slide in these things. It's got real little wheels on it and stuff. Um, oh, throttle cables. Um, mark one with a Sharpie, black Sharpie. Mark the cable itself, the little lead knob, and put a black mark right on the, um, the, uh, the throttle, throttle linkage itself, so you know, easy, makes it simple. Readjusting those was fine. Just make sure your throttle play is really good, um, which I managed to get it good. It was pretty sticky when I first started. Um, yeah, anyway. I think we should try firing this thing up. It will be a cold start. I haven't started it yet today. Um, I did yesterday. And, man, this thing would not idle properly. It was fluctuating up and down with the idling um yeah you couldn't keep it running it was really hard to start when it was cold didn't seem to have much of a problem yesterday i had the idle turned up a little too high but whatever i dialed that in oh oh right 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 um air fuel mixture screw after you've done all this jetting you want to turn that screw in clockwise until it's lightly seated and then with this jet kit JD Jetting recommends come back one and three quarter turns. See the setup. I haven't, like I said, I haven't got to ride it yet. We've got a bunch of snow outside. So I'm not about to. And I've got a buggered up knee. So yeah. So anyway, let's uh, drag this thing outside. Let's see what it'll do on a cold start. Well, not outside. We'll just pull it up to the door here see what she does hit the door there my wife wouldn't like that very much and this bike's I got a phone holder on it it just I use my phone for a GPS the vapor computer trail tech computer which is pretty sweet okay we'll turn the fuel on Pull the choke on. Let's see what it does here. Let's see if I even need the throttle.
this is after the JD jetting hit in I did. Yeah, this thing, it's all road legal. It's all set up with turn signals and everything. Uh, it was done back in the day when you were still allowed to do that. But anyway, unbelievable difference. Absolutely unbelievable. It's night and day difference. Oh, I did... Uh, Take that out of your exhaust too. Free that baby up a little bit, you know. Quick, simple, it's four bolts on the back of the muffler. I think they're eight mils. Uh, and then pull it out, it'll have the spark arrestor screen and one little Torx head. I can't remember the size, but just a little guy. There it is right there. Pull that thing out of the muffler, this cone comes right out. Simple. I haven't put any of my tools away yet, but whatever. Have a listen to this thing, eh? Sounds pretty good, man. I'm thoroughly impressed with these JD jet kits. JD jetting. There you go. Blocks on the light out. JDJetting.com Can't believe what a difference that thing makes. You know, while we're at it, too, I'm going to do an oil change here. Um, buy good oil. Good oil. Don't skimp on it. This Lucas is made for wet for clutches. That's what I'm going to put in the transmission side. Royal Purple, as far as I'm concerned, you can never beat it. Uh, just a good, you'll pay for it. Definitely you'll pay for it, but uh, I think the Lucas was like 24 bucks a liter and the Royal Purple's like 15, but whatever, fully synthetic. Yeah, this thing's running mid now, man. Check out the RPM. Before this thing would be singing all over the place. You couldn't get it to stay still. And that's just with a, that's an absolute cold start. Cold start. Haven't touched it since yesterday afternoon. So far, I am thoroughly impressed with this thing. back inside sorry about the freaking light beam there it's pretty dark down in my shot in my basement here so I need that little bit of extra light so anyway yeah that's it man um, basically it took me a couple hours to put it all back together you do have to pull up the subframe you do got to take off the muffler uh, you do got to remove the rear shock. I went over that in all the videos. We'll call this, I think it's part four. All right. Um, yeah, that's it, man. I got another camera going up here too. Going to try and check that out. I don't know how to how to uh, try and sync all this stuff. Well, well, we're just playing around. So anyway, this one's a 2006 CRF 250X. Full mods, airbox mod. All the emission stuff's gone. Gone. And man, as far as I can tell, just by running it in the basement, it starts cold. You've just seen it yourself. It started cold. First push of the starter. Uh, Iled away. Turned the choke off. Didn't skip a beat. Yeah. Whole thing. That's the way to go. Right there. JDJetting.com They don't sponsor me or nothing. I just think... It's the shit. You can go and buy something like that and makes your ride wake up like this. There is one more mod I can do. It's called the pink wire mod. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Um, an extra 500 RPM out of it. We'll see. We'll see when I get to riding here. So anyway, I think that's it, man. We're gone. Thanks, everybody. Oh, subscribe, like, comment. Whatever you like. Bye now.